Alright guys, welcome back to another tier list Sunday video. And in this tier list Sunday video, we're going to be ranking every single Grand Fed Doctor game. As always, these videos are never scripted, because I like to do tier list videos not scripted, just the way I like to do them. So you're probably going to see some errors in that. But we're ranking pretty much every single GTA game from the original GTA all the way to Grand Fed Auto online, I guess, because that is actually giving us tier list. Now, I have not played every single Grand Fed Auto game. So I'm just going to go over the quick details of what Grand Theft Auto games I have not played. So I've play, never played China War. Never played China War. I have played Level 6. Oops. I've never played that game. GTA Great Britain. London. I think it's GTA London. Never played that game. GTA 5. GTA 6. Yeah, never played the original Grand Theft Auto one. I've never played GTA 2. And I've never played Vice City Stories. Should be here as well, but it's not here in this tier list for some strange reason. Let's just get straight into it. The first GTA game we'll be ranking is GTA 4. I'm, I'm gonna do a playthrough on this game soon, very soon. I think it's gonna be my next playthrough after I do Bad Company 2. I've decided to do Bad Company 2 before I do GTA 4. And that's the simple reason the back was coming out this year, and I kind of want to re experience the back game. This game is absolutely amazing, a masterpiece. The story is so good. Arguably the most realistic Grand Theft Auto story. It's actually quite a decent length game. The online is actually quite good as well. Surprisingly. Oh, well, unless you're on PC, obviously. <laughs> but the online is still pretty good on console. It's a bit basic, obviously. The online is, but it's really, really good. Of course, when it came out. The story is just so oh, Nico Bella. The Dimitri, he's just so much if you go on about Grand Theft Auto 4. Definitely S tier. Without a doubt. Alright, Liberty City Stories now. Funny story about Liberty City Stories. I on this game by like PlayStation P. Was it PlayStation P? PlayStation P. I never really I played the game, but I always got stuck. This was always a problem I had in Grand Theft Auto games and old GTA games, because I was actually quite young when I played these games, so obviously I can do them now, but I did Vice City come out with not Liberty City Stories, I think it came out in 2005 or something like that. So I was very old. <laughs> So I probably got to a certain mission I got stuck. I really got stuck really early in the game, to be honest, it's probably that mission. Because I've watched some walkthroughs on it. And I do want to play it one day eventually. If I ever get a place you can do it. Or are they ever at cross play? Sorry. So, oh, it's a really good story. It's got to do with the map and it's got quite a realistic thing. It's with the ranks in it. It's a little bit basic. So I don't think it's a bad guy in the dog game. But I could see some flaws, but I'm going to give it C tier. I think I'm going to be generous and I'm going to go and give it C tier. I think it's a decent GTA game. But it's a bit more of a Mafia game than a GTA game. I feel like this game, they put this game like a ma the Mafias, but it isn't a Mafia. Because it's a bit more to do with the Mafia than the actual Grand Theft Auto game, I would say. It's a one GTA game that doesn't really make sense when it comes to Grand Theft Auto. Because the other games, I've got links to the Mafia, but not as much. You don't, you're not actually like a Mafia member. Like I'm a, it's got a capital regime at the end of the game. Alright, uh, next is San Andreas. San Andreas is one of, came out in 2004. Now, <laughs> San Andreas is another funny game. See, I played San Andreas a bit when I was a kid, right? And I got to the mission, the train mission, and I could never get past it. All we had to do, CD, was take the goddamn train, chase the goddamn train, I don't remember the quote. But, big smoke, amazing character gas, massive improvements over Y City, like you had a base system, uh, you had to control the way your character was, there was a lot of side content as well, and did your girlfriends and all that shit as well. I just think a long story, Free Cities, this is, I really hope GTA 6 is massive, like how GTA San Andreas was. This was so impressive for PlayStation 2 hardware, this game was. So much. It did have some really, really, really annoying missions. Like the, the, the train mission. The plane mission where you had to uh, risk up and take the guys to the rooftop to take like the satellite things. And toy planes to try and avoid you. When you had to use a minigun to destroy that, that's a horrible mission. So was the fuel mission. Like the little wee toy plane you would blow stuff up. They were horrible missions. But overall the rest of the game is really, really good on. I know the PC version, you can mod it and it has it online, apparently online. 
has some orphans in GTA 5, that's but I'm not entirely sure because I've never played the GTA San Andreas online, but I do need to one day, and I will play online one day, eventually. But overall it's a nice series game, absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing game. Alright, next is Vice Six Stories. I don't shape honestly. Never played Vice Six Stories, I have zero knowledge of the story. I've seen some gameplay of it, but I can't give an opinion. Next is the Battle Gate Tony. It's a decent DLC. GTA 4. Uh, it's, it's not the best. I would say it's a dig- massive downgrade for GTA 4. Actually, we went that. The online is quite decent. I'll say that. The online is actually quite decent. So, the new what, weapons and all that stuff, and the APC tank, and that's quite, it's quite fun. The online is. Gambling's really good as well. It's not the best of the best Grand Theft Auto game, but it's a really, really good Grand Theft Auto game. And I did. I oh, know, like the Lost in the Dam, that uh, even though I think the Lost in the Dam has its strengths over the Battle Game Tony, however, the Battle Game Tony. See, I, I used to play these games during the life cycle on the online, and I would tell you something. I can think any lobbies on the PlayStation 3 of my mind of, the, of this game. Let's go. Jeez, I forgot the name of it. Lost in the Dam, but I couldn't Battle Game Tony no problem. So, I mean, uh, I'm gonna give it a B tier. I think it belongs in the B tier. Alright, next is GTA 3, this Grand Theft Auto 3 is like the biggest, not, I would say it did as much improvements as GTA San Andreas did, but they made the game like third person, the combat system is actually horrible, decent story, has some annoying missions, uh, the game is really hard, it's usually the harder game I would say, out of all the Grand Theft Auto games, but GTA 4 is going to have to be harder, but I would assume this is the hardest. Not my own second see but I didn't really play it during the slice title, unfortunately. I was one years old when I came here. <laughs> Literally. So, yeah. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it. Yeah, I'm going to give it a B tier. I feel like giving it a C tier, but I'm going to be generous and I'm going to give it a B tier. Because it made your advent of the series like blow up and it made the series really, really famous. So i I, I got to give props to that. Alright, the next GTA game is one of the most overrated games of all time. GTA 5. Now give it a straight up honesty. GTA 5. His story is lackluster. It's a bit nothing to do with the man, really, nothing really to do with the gangs. They like try to copy the Ned Sandrius, but made it worse. I like the amount of heist you get to do in the game, I give it that prop, but I never really listened to the story, I grew to interest in it. But the game is, the gameplay is really good, I'll admit that. It's a game that is worth coming back to now and playing and play. But, like the other GTA game, it doesn't have the strongest story. So I'm going to give it an 8 here. Alright, next in Vice City. Vice City is a really, really good GTA game. It's like GTA 3, but it fixed a lot of issues with GTA 3. And it's set in Miami, come on, man. It's a very good city, you're saying. Tommy Bates, is not it? They also introduced the character could actually talk. Could give them points for that as well. Unless the character had dialogue in GTA 1 and 2. Let me know if they did. I don't know. Like, they didn't. They could actually talk to one of the whole GTA 3. Uh, yeah! That's a couple of annoying missions, like the, the mission you get to save that guy. Jeez, I've not played Vice City in a very long time. But I think this was actually the first GTA game I actually played properly. Uh, I was very young, from PlayStation 2. And I didn't really play it yet. I have not looked at the video games since so like 4, I think. Maybe. But I would say 4 or 5. So it's going to be more specific. Uh, yeah, I like the Katana sword and that. I didn't really make any progress to the story when I was doing like, all Grand Theft Auto games. GTA games were so hard, man. That was a lot of kids. See me with a lot of kids, man. Oh shit, man, I can get past these games. If I was a teenager, I probably would have completed it, but since I wasn't a teenager, I couldn't complete the games. <laughs> so, like, they feel really good, really good music. Thank you, Nate. Spoiler. What can you ask? The GTA 6 is rumored to be set in the same place. Hopefully, they make it bigger. And make it like a double series. Hopefully, the team might not support that. Alright, next is Lost in the Damned. Dave Bow Dave Taylor. It has a decent story. Not amazing. The online was absolutely bad. It's a good game. As I said, these TLS videos are going to be talking about absolute hours. 
the Rickish Granfield Auto if I went to death. Plus I need to play these Granfield Auto games to give a really, really good review. And I might give a good review. I might give a review again eventually after I'm going to get a good review again. Which will happen one day. Probably not for a very long time.